Hello guys, I'm Jitendra Chaurasia. Welcome you to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you create a pop-up window in just PowerPoint. So without any further ado, let's start the tutorial. So let me just show you the example that what we're going to do today is. So let's say I have this presentation on uh, time management. Let me just bring it to the preview mode. This is the title slide and table of content. And third is introduction. So so if I click on this button here, click here for more info, you can see that I have a pop up window coming like that. And in fact, when I click here, it goes off. And when you press arrow keys on the keyboard, you will notice that that particular window will not come into picture. So that's the concern of today's tutorial. So let's begin it. I have this presentation here and uh, I want to add a button over here. And uh, when I click on the button, there should be a, a pop up window should appear. So let's create a button first. So. I will come to the drawing option and I will take the second rectangle which has rounded corners. So we are creating a button over here. So I'll just create a button like this and uh, let's change the color shape fill to something dark and shape outline to no outline, text color to black and let me just write in click here and I'll select the text by pressing Ctrl A and make it bold. So this is our button. So come to select option here and selection pane and let's just name this okay. So if you are unable to get when you click here every object has a name. So this one I can give a name button to click okay any name you can give it's all your choice. So our button is ready you can see if you hide and hide so this is working. So I want when this button is pressed the pop-up menu or the pop-up window should appear so let's create a pop-up window so first of all let's take a rectangle done and let's fill it with a black color you might be wondering why i'm filling with black color just give me a moment i will explain that so what i'm going to do here is i will reduce its transparency to somewhere around 30 percent and now let's draw another rounded corner rectangle that represents our pop-up window so align it to center and align it to middle and let's change its color to somewhere around this pink color is fine or you can take any color of your choice next come to shape outline and make sure that you don't have any outline and whatever text you're looking for you can just start to type in here so let's come to drawing tab again and take a text box and uh, let's draw a text box and you can type any text of your choice press ctrl e so let's say this is the text that you want to show and now let's draw a cross sign that represent uh, just an action that where you click it will close so under equation shape you have this multiplication sign so just draw it i would suggest you to press shift to get in one ratio one proportion so just stretch it now control press control so now press control on your keyboard and use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or zoom out you can see there is a yellow icon over here and you can just take it up to to change the thickness of multiplication sign shape outline there is no outline and shape fill let's fill this with black color so our pop-up menu is ready now next step let's group all these things together so this one so press shift and select this rectangle this pink color rectangle this text and this cross and press ctrl g on your keyboard to group it now we are almost done come to animation tab and select the group and then you add an animation fade and uh, i want this to this animation to happen okay this appear animation to happen when the button to click is triggered okay so i am triggering it on the click off button to click if you remember button to click means this button we have given the name initially so now let's check it once right now we are on the title slide second slide third slide and if i go further we will come to the fourth slide now i'm going back if i click here it comes up that's cool right so now let's open animation pane so we have already one animation here now let's add one more animation that is called exit okay so this was for entrance and now we are adding one an exit animation to this so fade for exit exit 
and now coming up to trigger a shoot trigger on the click of group 31 so this number may be different you can see group 31 means all these things are there in that so i will take group 31 so now let me just preview this so i'll come to slideshow mode first slide second slide third slide fourth slide now i'll go back to the third slide and check click here yes it comes up and if you click here it goes let me check once again if you click here it comes up if you click here it goes away and if you press any key on the keyboard it goes to the next slide so that's all guys for today's tutorial i hope you like it and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much see you in the next video